Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to run System File Checker on Windows and that's any version of Windows this will work. Uh, now if you're getting freezing computer, crashing computer, um, blue screen of death, those kinds of errors, then uh, this can fix, uh, sometimes fix those errors. Now we need to get to command prompt, so one way to do that is to click the search button and then type in cmd and then you'll see run as administrator there so you want to click that and then click yes uh, now that's command prompt in runner as an elevated user now so we'll be able to perform system file check now the command that you want to put in is just sfc for system file checker forward slash and then scan now one word so scan now and just hit enter. Now that will take probably around 15 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. And you'll get uh, one of four results. So I'll just skip that and we'll go to the four results. This is on my website. Um, so result number one, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. That means everything was fine and uh, nothing, no errors were found, no corrupted files. Second result, uh, Windows Resource Protection could not perform the, re the re requested operation. Uh, that means you need to use System File Checker in safe mode. Uh, again, I've got uh, instructions on how to do that on my website. Uh, the third option is Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Uh, that's obviously probably what you want um, and that's that's what you'll get 90% of the time and the last option uh, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files but was unable to fix them uh, that's not a result you want to get because that usually means you've got to reset or refresh your entire computer because um, uh, repairing files manually um, is a laborious process so um, Oh, you would need to re refresh your PC. And again, I've got the uh, instructions on how to do that on my website. But look, I haven't had that number four. I haven't had that result in many years uh, repairing PCs. It used to be something that would happen frequently on Windows XP, um, but I haven't had it happen for a long time. Most of the time it's either one or three. Uh, so hopefully you get either one or three. All right, guys, that's about it for this uh, guide. Um, any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.